Welcome into Atlanta and Bobby Dodd Stadium where this afternoon the Wofford Terriers open the 2014 campaign as they take on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets out of the ACC. Wofford coming off a five and six performance a year ago, hoping for a bounce back season, though it won't be easy against an FBS opponent on the road. Here are your highlights. Buckner approaches the football into it with his right foot. It's a deep line drive kick taken at the goal line far side, slanting center of the field 10 15 the return man to the 20 drives the pile forward to the 25 takes the pile with him to the 25 to the 30 out to the 34 yard line that's Lorenzo Long wow Lorenzo <laughs> Long with a tremendous return to start the season Tech started this drive way back at their 22 first and goal from the four handoff Lasky left side touchdown Georgia Tech so it'll be second down and 11 for the Terriers from their 24 this time a four receiver set to either side for Jacks Two linemen down defensively for Georgia Tech. A single back alongside Evan out of the gun. Red shirt sophomore quarterback looking to throw. Now he's going to tuck it and run and has room. 25-30. Drags a tackler out across the Evan 35. Jackson. And he four receivers again to either side. Jacks from the gun. Flat pass near side. Will Irwin's got it for a first down. He's to the 50. Dives into Jacks Tech territory down to the 48. Eight. Second and eight from the 46. Jacks quarterback draw out of the gun. 45-40. First down run for Jacks. Runs into his own man at the 35 to the 30. Evan Jacks all the way down to the 26-yard line. A 20-yard run for the quarter. This will be a 39-yard attempt out of the hold of reserve punter Brian Sanders. Comer's snap is a good one. Spot down. Kick on the way. End over end. Has the distance, and he got it. Welcome to college football. David Marvin. The Terriers are on the board. Second and 10 from the 23 fullback give and Lasky will pull his way behind right guard to the 25 all the way out to the 29 a Lasky punishing run carry. for Lasky Dennis splits wide to the right also a man slot right third down half a yard for Tech from their 29 handoff and the B-back's going to get the first down Lasky, Lasky takes it out across the 30 to the 33 Odom finally down finished down. him off clock running 10 15 to play in the first half Tech leading 7-3 Yellow Jackets third and five at the Terrier 34 in motion right one of the a backs pitch away from Thomas and that's a first down run to the near side for Bostic 30 25 he's out of bounds at the 20 before Le Jaleel Green finally days remains the fullback up under center Thomas man in motion to the right Thomas with the pitch on the corner and he's not going to make the first down Charles, Charles Perkins, Perkins cut out from under at the 13 yard line Jim Dolanak a reserve inside linebacker a red shirt sophomore from Knoxville they will line it up from 31 yards away on the right hash mark kicks right footed so he'll have to bring it in a little bit kick on the way and it is no good wide to the right and the Terrier defense holds how about that Terriers second and four from the 26 again Jack's out of the gun two receivers left two to the right as the Terriers spread it out a single back alongside the quarterback it's long he'll get the handoff Fumble. and finds a crevice to his left carries to the 30 fumbles the football out to the 31 but I believe the Terriers have come out of there with it Georgia Tech four on the line of scrimmage. Jacks barking out the signals. A wing left, two backs behind him. Snap away, handoff. Raymond Smith straight up the middle. He's got a hole. He's to the 10. Smith, 20, 25, 30. Smith to the 40. They're not going to catch him. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Raymond Smith just went 92 yards. Touchdown, Wofford. Or you could just run the ball up the middle. 90-plus yards for a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Opening drive of the second half. They lead Wofford 10-9. Two halves and a fullback. Thomas fakes the give. Quarterback keeper. Didn't he dives it. into the center of the line, and I don't think he made it. He's going to be spot down at the 37-yard line. The It'll be fourth down and a yard. Again, two halfbacks and a fullback. Thomas again wants to throw. Play action. Puts it up toward the goal line. Caught. Touchdown smelter on the slant pattern. DeAndre Smelter, 19-yard touchdown. Yourself. Out of the wing bone. Pitch far corner. Raymond Smith, good yards. As he'll cross the 25 to the 30, Raymond Smith Raymond all the way out to the 34-yard line. Terriers second down and four from their 41. Again, three backs in a triangle surrounding Jax, who works from the gun. Jax running the option right, has a seam, 45-50. Jax ahead to the 45. He is sandwiched Evan down Jax by a couple carry. of guys in the defensive backfield. At the Welcome 43 in the Georgia White. Tech end of the field, D.J. White, the first corner, down, was the first man there to get Evan Jax, but... 
Jack showing a nice little burst. Ran for 16 right there. Terriers first and 10 from the 43 in the tech end of the field. Play action for Jacks out of the gun. Going to throw it deep down the middle. Incomplete at the 10-yard line. Leaping try by the receiver down there for Wofford. Second down and 10 from the 43 right hash. Again, Jacks with three backs in the triangle out of the gun. Pitch near corner after faking the dive. Room 40-35. Out of bounds at the 33-yard line Gay, on that carry Gay. goes Will Gay. 51-yard try coming up for David Marvin. The holder is Brian Sanders. Good snap from Comer. Kick on the way. Looks like it's got the distance, and it is good. How about David that? Marvin with a 51-yard field goal in his very first game. All right, Georgia Tech white jerseys left to right. They lead it 17 to 12. 419 to play in the third. On first and 10 from there, 29. Double play action for Thomas. Throws to the near side. Smelter's got it at the Terrier 40. Gets out of the tackle there. Cuts it inside, 35-30. He's to the 20, he's to the 10, he will score. Terriers first and 10 from the 25. Jack's out of the gun with a single back flank to his right. It's Lorenzo Long, play action, dumps it off for his tight end. That is caught by Zach Mueller, who breaks a tackle initially, then he's swarmed under at the 28-yard line. Lineup. Seven yards to go. third down and seven. Weimer out of the gun with a single back. Pass to the far side. That is caught by Wade Francis. He'll juke his way inside the 45 for the 43 or so, where he is stopped by D.J. White. If he didn't get the first down, he's close. He's going to be spotted out of bounds at the 44. Francis to the left. Weimer out of the gun with two backs. Fakes the give, wants to run the option left, gets away from a tackler at the line of scrimmage and spins ahead to the 42. He is very close to the first down. Jack's out of the gun, three backs surrounding him. Fakes the dive to Long, wants to run the option left, looking for the seam. He is really slammed into, but he may have the first down as he's inside the 35, close to the 31-yard line. Second and 15 now from the Yellow Jacket, 36. Again, four receivers, two either side for Jacks. Out of the gun, he'll take the snap with time down the middle, overshoots oh, the receiver, yes. but we're going to get a flag. Colvin was the intended target on a post pattern at the 10-yard line, and one of the Yellow Jackets just grabbed his leg, and there are three penalty markers Pass interference, number 20 of the defense. Jacks will work from the shotgun, two backs behind him, and he will fake the dive to Gay. He's going to keep right side and has a seat. 15 to the 10. Evan Jacks slung down inside the five at the four-yard line. Barry. First and goal. Wofford as Jacks Boy, runs for nice. 17 Tyler's yards. Stopping. Two backs behind Evan Jacks out of the gun. They are long and hardened. Tight end to the left. And it's a handoff. Harden, he wheels away from three defenders. And he is Touchdown. in. Double. Touchdown, Terriers. Octavius Harden with a four-yard run. Second and six tech. Right hash from the 24. Again, they go from their version of the wing bone. Thomas running the option right. He's hemmed in. Now he gets away. A late pitch. All sorts of room. Look out. There he goes. 40, 50, far sideline. 40, 30 to the 20. Run out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Coach, you're right in this one. It's 10-9 at the half. Raymond Smith makes a huge run in the closing moments of the second quarter. Um, Talk about what that play did for momentum and then how you treated things at halftime. Oh, it, it got everybody fired up. Uh, that Once he broke the line of scrimmage, we thought that he had a chance to take it all the way. Uh, the last two remaining guys that they had, uh, their angles were flat. He got on top of them and finished the play. Uh, by the time he scored, everybody on the sideline was right down there at the uh, just about at the uh, end of the box. and. They were going crazy, and it was a very exciting play for us. You know, you look at what your defense did today. Georgia Tech seemed like they got out of what they loved to do. They had to throw the ball more than usual. Yeah. Uh, it, they're going to get their yardage. Uh, they're no different than us. Uh, they, they try to find your weakness, and then uh, you've got to counter them. Uh, hopefully you stay a click ahead. Um, we had some busted assignments, and uh, it, the, our nemesis was the pass. So uh, we we got some work to do. We've got to go back and uh, and see what went wrong, get it squared away, and uh, get ready for the next one that comes in two weeks. So uh, we're uh, we're pleased to a certain extent. Uh, with the effort of the kids, uh, 
we're, we're not pleased at all as far as the outcome of the game. Uh, I truly believe that if we execute at the level we're capable of, we, we could have won the game. That may sound foolish, but uh, that's what I believe. Evan Jacks was named the starter early in the week. You right. look at his numbers, 70 rushing yards, and the team didn't turn the ball over. Thank goodness. Uh, if you turn the ball over, uh, that score out there could have been easily 50, 60. And, uh, you know, we, we did our best to take care of the ball. Uh, we had a, an opportunity to take it away from them. We missed the opportunity right down there on the goal line. And, uh, but if we can take care of the ball, play defense like I know we can play it, then uh, we're going to have a chance to be a pretty good football team. A lot of your young linebackers seem to be in on a lot of plays today. Dolanac, uh, right. Terrence Morris was in a lot. I mean, you graduated two gems in Mike McCrimmon and Alvin Cino. Right. Your thoughts on the linebacking court today? Well, the, their names got called a lot. Uh, going to take a look at the film and, and see how they played. But uh, that, there was a lot of heart out there. That They played hard. Uh, it's one of those days, you know, 1230, hot Atlanta. And uh, the sun was shining. So uh, it, it was a, a tough day physically, but I thought our kids uh, really did a good job as far as holding up. David Marvin, your redshirt freshman, first college game, two field goals, one of them from 51, second longest in school history. Yeah. But then he's injured late in right. the ball game. Talk about his kicking, and then I know you haven't talked to the doctors yet. Do you have mm -hmm. any feel for what's going on there? Well, he did a great job uh, when you have it all. And I'm talking about PAT, field goal, kickoff, and punt. Uh, he, he's a guy that uh, really is uh, one of those guys that, that knows and realizes the importance of his job. And uh, those guys, that they work hard. Those guys are constantly evaluating each other and, uh, and trying to, to be the best they can be. And uh, they... He had one kickoff that, uh, that he missed on. Other than that, I, I thought his kicking was outstanding. And as far as the injury, any idea? Uh, it, it's something to his non-kicking leg. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, we'll talk with uh, Dr. Kana and see, see what's up. All right, finally, you've got an open week before North Greenville in the home opener. Um, I know you mentioned in the press conference it's, it's time to get back to work. No doubt. Uh, it's not a vacation time. Uh, we're going to work. We're, we're going to do our best to get better. Uh, our goal is to try to win a championship, and you sure can't do that by, you know, staying on the couch and flipping your remote. you got to get out there, and you got to get better, and that's what we're going to do. So with a 38-19 to loss here on the road at Georgia Tech, the Terriers open the season at 0-1. Now they turn their attention to North Greenville University, a Division II program which will come to Gibbs Stadium two weeks from today, September 13th, in what will be the home opener for Wofford. That'll have a 7 o'clock kickoff. We'll have the broadcast on the Wofford IMG Sports Network starting at 6.30. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.